My name is Dr. Kevin Zobo, and I'm based at the University of Cape Town in South Africa. And my research uh, involves uh, working on precision oncology, where we are working on cancer stem cells. We are trying to find ways to uh, kill or to destroy cancer stem cells, which we believe are the mother cells that cause the cancer initially, and also that cause uh, what we call metastasis, where the cancer uh, distribute and move to other organs. I'm also involved in stem cell research, basically looking at uh, regenerative medicine and um, uh, tissue engineering. Uh, you find that um, the transplantation of uh, tissues and organs that are intact or donated from other people has been the bedrock to, uh, to alleviate uh, donor or tissue shortages. But what we need to do is we need to find ways to increase the supply of tissues and organs that can be used for transplantation. And that is what we are doing. Basically, we are differentiating stem cells into different tissues, uh, for example, uh, cartilage and lung tissue at the moment. Uh, we believe that the work that we are doing will impact on how patients are going to be treated in the hospital in the sense that uh, if we can find a way to uh, kill cancer stem cells, we believe that we'll be able not only to stop metastasis or cancer moving to different organs, but we'll be able to kill, uh, to kill the cancer itself so that it can regress and so that there won't be any tumor body remaining after treatment. Uh, in terms of uh, stem cells and uh, regenerative medicine, we believe that we can try to come up with uh, new tissues and organs that can be used for transplantation. So that will affect the way people are being treated for end stage kind of like diseases and conditions at the moment. Africa is really ready for this kind of uh, research that we are doing or that most NEF fellows are doing in the sense that uh, new technologies are coming up and many African governments are uh, listening and are taking up the opportunity to introduce these uh, technologies in different fields of the economy. For example, in terms of uh, tissue engineering and regenerative medicine, which uh, involves uh, 3D printing, many governments are introducing 3D printing uh, not just for the production of tissues and organs, but also for production of other industrial uh, goods that can be used by uh, the population. A lot of research that is done, especially at academic uh, institutions, they are just, uh, they are mostly theoretical. So what we need to do is we need to start teaching our students uh, in terms of uh, entrepreneurship or converting ideas uh, that we are doing in research into businesses. So there are so many gaps that needs to be addressed. For example, we need uh, to educate our young uh, minds uh, in terms of uh, uh, taking ideas into business. We also need uh, funding. Funding is a problem in terms of the research that we are doing. So we encourage, we need to encourage African governments to increase the funding that they are doing in terms of research and development so that we can come up with these solutions to uh, modern day uh, kind of like problems or problems affecting ordinary people in the street. Um, African governments must uh, increase uh, their funding uh, to uh, African researchers so that we can compete with our international um, uh, peers in terms of doing our research because what tends to happen most of the time is that the research we do on the African continent is always uh, two to three to five years behind uh, internationally. So what we need to do is we need increased funding from the governments uh, in terms of uh, uh, doing our research. We also need uh, communication between the researchers and government so that the government can, re can fund research that is going to actually uh, help our communities. Um, research is uh, changing uh, and uh, there is a lot of enabling technologies that we need the young people to be taught on. 
for example, you find that uh, artificial intelligence is affecting almost every area of uh, research in terms of data analysis, robotics, and so forth. So uh, the young people that are being trained today must be able to not just to learn the basic fields of, of science, like uh, biology, chemistry, and so forth. We need to start uh, studying biology and chemistry together with these enabling technologies so that going into the future, we can use these enabling technologies to solve some of the problems we can't solve at the moment. I would really encourage um, fellow uh, scientists on the African continent, those who are not yet uh, next Einstein uh, fellows and ambassadors, to apply for the fellowship because it will expose you to the world. Really, your research will become known. Personally, I've seen that I've uh, started to have conversations with a lot of international collaborators just because I was chosen as a NEF uh, fellow. It exposes you to the international uh, uh, scene such that uh, many people uh, internationally would want to, to work with you. Well, five to ten years from now, um, I hope I will be at an academic institution uh, on the African continent uh, so that I can try to help uh, and solve some of the uh, problems that we experience on the African continent. Uh, I hope I'll be a professor by then um, and I'll be doing uh, great, uh, great science.